Good morning, everybody. We're gonna be fishing in St. Joe Bay here in the Panhandle of Florida. We've had a good bit of wind last week, but we got a little window, so we're gonna get out today. We had a new moon last night, so we've got a real strong rising tide, and we've got a live well full of live shrimp. I'm David, and this is Forgotten Coast Fishing. a spot where it's pretty shallow right now but it's going to gradually get a little deeper kind of over some nice thick grass so we are going to start out with this live shrimp now what i've got here this is a, a cajun thunder popping cork and this is 20 pound fluorocarbon and this is a kale hook at the bottom oh here we go oh man now this is a trout not a ladyfish it's a nice one too i think I think it's a nice trout. Let's see if we can keep them over here on this side of the boat. Now, if you saw my last video where I was out in the bay, I fumbled around with a net and ended up losing them. Not this guy. Oh, it's a little redfish. Check it out, Steven. Little redfish. So they have to be 18 inches and he's not gonna make it, but a nice good first fish of this morning. Check them out. Nice, beautiful fish there. Well, let's go ahead and get him back. Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, yeah, man. I don't know if this is a redfish or a trout. Don't think it's a ladyfish. It kind of came up and I saw the cork kind of moving a little bit, kind of swimming to my left a little bit and I just kind of let him take it. And let's see, yeah, we got a nice trout here. Nice trout. All right, well, let's get him in. Like I said, I'm not gonna mess with this net. We're just gonna bring him on in. All right, Steven, look at this guy. He's gonna be a nice keeper for the box here. All right, well, let's get a measurement on this guy. So he's almost 17, about 16 and three quarters. What do you think, Steven? Can we get a good trout? Well, he's going in the box. So nice, beautiful trout, almost 17 inches. They have to be 15 to keep and we can keep one over 19 should we get it. Well, let's get this guy in the box. Oh, got him, got him. All right, all right. So I went back to the top water. I was seeing some kind of bait fish kind of getting attacked. And so I really wasn't having much luck with that shrimp. So I went back to this top water and we got us a fish here. Is this a trout? Yeah, he's a trout. So let's get him in. He might be our 15. All right, Steven, we got another one. Man, our kind of plan paid off seeing that bait fish kind of attack the surface. I said, well, let's get something out there that maybe will kind of mimic whatever they're after. All right, well, check him out. Nice trout, I do think he's gonna be 15. Yeah, he's 15. All right. Got him, all right. All right, this may be a pinfish. Oh no, it's a trout. Well, he was acting like that other trout in that he is a trout, but he's a little too small. Look at this little guy, Steven. Look how little he is. Look at that little trout. Man, he's tiny, tiny trout. Well, let's get him back. We want him to grow bigger. There you go, buddy. But I'd gone back to this popping cork with this shrimp because I had moved and I'm kind of back into that shallow water, kind of doing that same drift that we did before. All right, you can kind of see we're getting a little more wind. You can see the chop building up a little bit. And that's actually kind of good because it's gonna kind of help me throw this popping cork a little further. There's not a whole lot of weight to it. It's got these brass beads right here, which is a little bit of weight and just sort of the overall weight of the whole thing. But what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cast it more in an arc and that way it'll stay in the air a little longer and the wind will kind of push it. I kind of do it kind of easy too so the shrimp doesn't sling off and see we can get kind of a nice cast oh got him got him all right i switched back to this top water we're kind of got this nice cloud cover and i just was kind of having not a lot of luck with that with that popping cork shrimp set up so i went back to this 
And I got a trout, he's not gonna be big enough, but they're really on fire with this top water, it seems today. And you see I'm using this top water with these single hooks. You see how much easier it is to get off. And it was a lot easier to get this trout off and we didn't hook them so much and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna kind of stick with this top water for a few minutes, pinfish are even kind of coming up to get it. And I'm gonna kind of throw it up in the air like I was doing with that popping cork as well to let that wind take it a little bit. But having this cloud cover is really nice with this top water because it's almost midday or so and typically I've put the top water up by this time because it's kind of so bright. Oh, got him, all right, got him, all right. He's been kind of messing with this on a couple casts. I think he's too small again. Well, let's see, he might just make it. Now he's gonna be too small. So I was getting strikes by trout on this for a couple casts. And I'm coming up onto a sand spot, so I don't know if they're kind of circling around that sand spot or not, but a nice little trout. There you go, buddy. So let's see if we can, you can see that sand spot right there. And I was catching all the trout kind of right here. It looks like it kind of ends over here. So I'm gonna kind of make a cast to the edge of it a little bit. And then I'll start working the other side of it as I start to drift through it. Oh, oh man. All right, I just put this shrimp back out here. I was really not getting anything on that top water. Oh, we got a nice trout here. This may be our keeper number three here. Yeah, and this was my first cast with that shrimp. And I think we got a nice one here. He may make our 15 inches here. Let's get him in. All right, here's a long one. Long and skinny, check him out, Steven. All right, yeah, he's gonna be 15 for sure. How many are we gonna catch today? Four? Yeah. Okay, well, we got three, so I'll take it. We got a one-man lemon already. Now all these next fish are yours because we wouldn't be able to keep any more if it weren't for you on board. Yeah. yeah. Another nice trout. Look at all that green on him. I don't know if you can see that shining in the sun. He's got some blue there. Beautiful fish. Now you can see, I'm gonna try not to lose him. Look how he matches our bottom here. But that's how they can be so good and camouflaged because when you put them down in the water like that, they look exactly like the grass down there. All right, my gear that I'm using this is an Okuma Simar 40, kind of a 4,000 or kind of 3,000 sized reel. And this is a TFO Professional 7 foot 6 medium rod. I like this rod a lot because it's a little bit longer than normal since it's 7 foot 6. You can really get a long cast. And as I was talking about with the wind earlier, it's real important to really get a long cast because you can see we're in really shallow clear water and once you get a little ways to the boat, they're kind of spooked off. So you really need to get that distance so that you can get those strikes. And that's a nice cast. And do you see how I was kind of taking it easy when I cast with this shrimp for two reasons. I don't want that shrimp to get slung off, but also when you jerk it, when you cast with this popping cork, a lot of times it all spins and gets tangled in the air. So if you just kind of do a a whip with the end of your rod. Oh man, I've got a fish. Then you're likely to not let it spin. All right, what have we got here? Something going down. I don't think he might not be a keeper unless he's just swimming to us. But we were not even paying attention to the catfish or just a pinfish. Yeah, it's a nicer pinfish. Now there's a reason these guys are called pinfish. All of these will stick you and up underneath too. You have to be real careful. All right, well, we've had some fantastic action with the trout so far, either using this popping cork with a live shrimp or either that top water. But we've kind of ended our drift, so we're gonna set out the trolling motor, have some lunch, and reset our drift. All right, Stephen, what do you wanna watch while we have lunch? All right, let's see if I can get it. How about the Prisoner of Azkaban? Yeah. All right, let's see. Oh, here we go. Is that good? Yeah. So if you guys watch my videos, you know Steven is a huge fan of Harry Potter. 
And we got into the habit of watching the Harry Potter <laughs> episode while we're out eating lunch on the boat. So once again, we have enough data to do that. Well, we're gonna kind of chill out, relax, have our lunch, and see if we can grab that fourth trout that Steven says we're gonna get. Here we go, here we go. All right, Steven, this may be our fourth trout. Yeah, he's putting on a little bit of a fight. He might be 15. All right, let's see. Yeah, he's staying down pretty nicely, so he may be a nice, yeah, he's gonna be a keeper. He's gonna be a keeper, nice keeper. All right, Steven, well, we got four trout, just like you said. I think we should try some more. This was our, kind of our last drip, drift probably. So we'll probably do this one more drift. We got a ways to go to see if we'll catch another one. This was pretty much my second cast since we kind of moved back to reset our drift. But man, this is a nice trout. He might be like that first one, about 17 or so. See, he's right at 17. I think that first one was just a shy under 17. So check him out. Nice looking trout. Well, Steven, we got our fourth trout, just like you said. You think we can catch five or six, maybe? Yeah. All right. Here he goes, all right. I don't know if you saw that cork kind of starting to move, just like we caught two others before. Just kind of let him have it for a second. Oh, it's a little redfish again, I think. Yeah, yeah, a little redfish, I think. Yeah, yeah, redfish. All right. So I think he's a little too small, too. But if we could get these redfish right at 18, those are some nice eaten fish. Better than the big ones, in my opinion. Oh, where's my cork? Oh, oh man, I looked away and I had a fish. Here comes another trout, probably on the little side, but definitely not a keeper. What I like to do if I know I'm gonna be throwing these guys back, get my hand wet a little bit. Their scales are a little bit delicate and they can kind of rub off real easily. And that'll just kind of minimize that a little bit. Oh man, look at that. Now that's a trout. Man, he kind of jumped out of the water like a ladyfish. Wow, is he gonna, no, he's not a keeper. Wow, usually they don't jump up. They usually kind of head to the bottom kind of thing but this little guy is feisty. All right, I'm kind of getting to the end of my shrimp here and they're getting kind of small as you can see. So I'm gonna kind of start doubling them up, put two on at a time, just hook them the same way, just do two of them. All right, here we go. Got another one, again on the smaller side, could be a pinfish, no? Yep, I think it's a pinfish. Oh no, it's a little trout. Wow, well, we're getting a lot of little ones. That's good for the future, obviously, so these little guys will get bigger. Oh, oh, here's the good one, Steven. Oh man, it's another trout jumping out of the water. All right, here's the good one. You're gonna catch a big one, Steven. You may even get the biggest one of the day. You got the rod? All right, here we go. All right, he's coming up to the boat. You see him? <laughs> All right, here he comes. Let yeah. Daddy get over here to get him. You got the rod? Let's just boat flip him. All right, let go. All right, look at this trout, Steven. Look at him. We got number five. Number five keeper. Now we can keep one more. We've got a little bit left in our drift, not a whole lot. Now let's see if we can grab that sixth keeper. All right, check him out. What do you think? Yeah. That's another 17 inch or maybe. Keep them low on the boat. We don't want to lose them. Man, look at the stingray. Look how big that dude is. Wow. He looks like he's missing his tail or a part of it. All right, we're about out of our drift here. 
Got these two sandbars. Looks like there's a little grass behind them, but that's gonna be it. All right, so Steven, we got a goal here. One more fish in just about 75 yards or something. And we're almost out of shrimp too. Oh, here he is. Oh, oh, Steven, we got him. Let's see if he's 15. He's a trout, I know that. Oh man, just go ahead. No, he's too little. He's too little. Well, we've caught enough little fish to add up to that sixth one several times over. Let's see if we can get off, get him off quickly to see if we can get one more cast out. Oh man, look at these shrimp. Hardly have any left. Five, I think, and they're all tiny. We've got two casts left of shrimp by doubling them up. Oh, look. We had a random hook laying on the deck, and that's what I hooked these shrimp on instead of the one on my line. Oh, no, Steven. We're going to be able to do it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Trout, come on, buddy. Good go, booby. Yeah, come on, buddy. Oh, 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 man, pinfish got it. Ah, pinfish got it. We've gotten into some shallow water again. These are our last two shrimp here. That's it on shrimp. I'm gonna turn that off. Oh, he's under, he's under, oh, pinfish. Oh. I think that was it on our shrimp. All right, as you can probably see, we're out of our grass and just into sand. And that was our last drift. So we're gonna go ahead and head on back. But we had a great day. We got five keeper trout in the box. And we always have a great day with Steven. Not only is it a fun time with him, but he always brings us luck and we always have a good day. But if you enjoyed this video, Give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you won't miss my future videos. So until next time, hope to see you on another episode of Forgotten Coast Fishing.